Good morning. Thank you for tuning in. This is the Kila Chari Torah Halacha Review for Thursday morning, January 7th. We've been discussing all this week about uh, the time period of six hours waiting between uh, meat and milk. Uh, we should note that it also goes the other way for some uh, hard cheeses. We discussed that in an earlier uh, talk in our uh, Thornhill discussions about uh, Parmesan cheese and other uh, aged hard cheeses that take on the qualities uh, the durability, the uh, difficulty, the, the time uh, that it takes to digest uh, those foods. So they have uh, the same rule that after eating those foods, uh, one should wait uh, six hours before eating meat. But for uh, uh, the cheeses that we eat in general, softer cheeses, cream cheese, and uh, uh, processed cheese and all that, we do not have to worry about that. Okay, last topic that we're talking about is uh, what you're not allowed to do during the six hours of the waiting period. Uh, a uh, sharp food cut with a milk knife or cooked in a, uh, in a uh, milk pot. One who is fleshig should not eat sharp food that was cut with a milk knife. Uh, similarly, one should not eat a sharp food that was cooked in a uh, recently used uh, milk pot. So if a person is uh, fleshig, uh, quote-unquote fleshig, in other words, they've, they're uh, waiting six hours after the completion of eating uh, some meat foodstuffs or a meal, uh, they should not eat uh, f- a sharp food that was cut with a milk knife nor should they uh, uh, eat uh, uh, f- sharp foods, those garlic, onions, uh, or uh, dishes containing those foods that were cooked in a uh, recently used milk pot. One who has a bite plate or dentures or braces should wash it out very well after eating meat because uh, commonly uh, food does get stuck on those uh, dental uh, appliances. One who uses dentures may use the same one for meat and dairy. It's not necessary to kosher them from meat to dairy since the food is not yad so lettuce bow. It's not so hot as to cause cooking, otherwise we wouldn't be able to eat it. Someone with braces should brush their teeth with toothpaste uh, after the six hours. According to the letter of the law, no need to wait, uh, wait between dairy and meat. In other words, the Torah doesn't say you have to uh, do that. That's a stringency that we've uh, added uh, in later years since the Torah was given. One should simply rinse your mouth and wash off any dairy that's on your hands. Some say that a, uh, that, uh, sorry, this is going from dairy to meat, right? Uh, in other words, after eating uh, cheese or uh, pizza or something like that, and you're going to eat meat. One should simply rinse our mouths and uh, wash off any dairy on our hands. Some say that it is required to make the after uh, blessing or the entire grace after meals before eating meat. Others are lenient. Uh, some are c- accustomed to be lenient only on Shavuot because we usually eat uh, cheesecake and then go into a uh, meat meal at some point soon thereafter. Some have the cu- uh, sorry, but uh, they do say require. They do say that you need a, a, a bracha a charon, the after blessing or birkat hamazon any other time of the year. The Zohar is quoted in Shulchan Aruch as saying that one should wait an hour between dairy and meat. Some say this is a stringency uh, that applies only of eating uh, dairy foods, but not to drinking milk. The custom of many amongst the Jewish people is to wait a half an hour from after milk until eating meat. Several explanations are given for this. Some say it's a compromise between the uh, majority of poskim that say there's no waiting and the Zohar's opinion that requi- requires an hour. Others say that the Zohar mentioned in the, the sorry the hour that the Zohar mentions is not an actual hour, uh, but uh, the Zohar uses the term hour to refer to a meshach zman, a period of time. So as long as you wait a, a certain period of time, a half an hour is a good uh, rule of thumb. Uh, it's sufficient. That's sufficient. Those who follow this custom should rinse their mouths properly before eating meat. One who does not have this custom need not accept the stringency to wait a half an hour. Uh, after uh, learning these. So once you've learned these halachas, you know, you know, this does not obligate you if you've had the custom all your life to go from one to the other. That is a question which came up in a few contexts uh, in our recent learning. So if you haven't done it up until now, uh, in this particular case, don't feel obligated that you have to uh, go and add that. Okay, so that is uh, the end of the chapter on waiting between meat and dairy. We'll continue tomorrow. Please join us then. Have a good day.